Hi guys, this is Suzanne from Under the Covers um, and today um, I have a subject very close to my heart that I want to talk about and that is some of my favourite sci-fi books. So I'm probably one of the only ones who reads it on Under the Covers and I'm especially the only person who likes to read the really cheesy sci-fi romances. So I thought I would give you a list of my kind of recommendations of all the ones that I've loved. Um, and the ones that kind of, kind of stood out in my mind. I've done them in different categories, so I have got some kind of old school type sci-fi romances that I've read which have made me laugh. I don't necessarily recommend that you read them. Um, they're a bit um, different times, kind of different things were acceptable. Then I've got some more serious kind of urban fantasies, there's a thriller in there as well. Um, so they're not that cheesy but they're great series that I recommend you pick up. Then I get to the ones that I adore and that all the other girls on Under the Covers like to make fun of me for. And that is my cheesy sci-fi romances which have weird aliens everywhere. Um, and then I've got some cyborg sci-fi kind of romances as well that I wanted to recommend to you. So there are, those are my four categories that I've got um, down for you today. I had to write them down otherwise I would never remember them all. Um, so I'm going to start off old school and um, there's only two series here um, that when I was looking through my list of sci-fi books that really popped into my head and made me chuckle. The first one is by Johanna Lindsay and it's her Lysenta uh, series. I'm not quite sure how you say it, but it's L-Y-S-A-N-T-E-R. Uh, the first book is called Warrior's Woman. It's almost, it's like a bodice ripper in space with aliens who are kind of like barbarians. I don't really remember very much of it apart from those small facts. I think if I read it now, it would probably absolutely horrify me. But I remember reading it at, at the time. Um, I can't remember how long ago, maybe, um, 10-ish years ago and quite liking it so um yeah so that's a uh, old school one another one um is by Dara Joy and it's called it's a dis the series is Matrix of Destiny and the first book is Night of a Trillion Stars um I'm not quite sure how old these books are maybe 90s but they are um they're so cheesy um, and dated, but I, I kind of guiltily love them. So if you want to try those out, um, try it, um, bearing in mind that they're quite old and some of the stuff that was written about in the 80s and 90s we probably wouldn't accept today. Um, like I said, they're kind of bodice ripper kind of books. Um, so moving on, so these are the books that like, they're quite mainstream so most of you might have read them or heard of them already but I thought they definitely deserved a mention and then these are kind of the more, I say serious sci-fi ones but ones that are maybe urban fantasies and thrillers. Um, so the first one um, is The League by Sherilyn Kenyon, that's her sci-fi sci romance series. It's I've kind of gone off it recently but when I, the first kind of three or four books I really really like. Um, they're quite as usual with Sherilyn Kenyon, they're dark and everyone's been tortured at one point in their life, blah blah blah. Um, but I do kind of like them, they're, 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 especially the, like, the first half of the series is really good. It kind of gets too much for me and I haven't read the latest book I don't think, so I'm only one behind but I did really like those. Um, the next one, okay, this is probably more of a paranormal romance than it is a sci-fi and that's a say Side Changeling series by Nalini Singh. The first book is Slave to Sensation. However, they are set in the future and there are some futuristic aspects to it. So I have it down on my list on Goodreads as both sci-fi and paranormal romance. So I thought I'd sneak that in here as well. The next on my list is an urban fantasy. Uh, an urban fantasy, however, set in the future and in in a sci and it's a sci-fi, and that's the Samantha Jack series by Anne Aguirre. Um, again, I've probably butchered her name, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, the first book in that series is called Grim Space. Um, I quite liked it, it's not one of my favourites, but um, it's it's a good sci-fi. The next one is by Gina Showater, and she has done her Alien Huntress series. So it's kind of set like a paranormal romance, so I've got a new couple each book. However, instead of 
like werewolves and vampires, we have aliens. Um, so I've I've only read the first few in it. I've really liked it. It's one of those series that I really want to read the rest of because for a start they have some really beautiful covers. So even if I pick up for nothing more than the cover, um, there's some great books to read and I've really enjoyed the ones that I have. So that's actually a reminder for myself to continue that series. The next one is Catherine Kitkat and it's a her first book is called, I think it's Touched by an Alien um, and it's by Gina Co Coach again I've probably completely destroyed her name and I'm really sorry um, <laughs> anyway they're kind, it's like um like a comedy almost uh, there's quite a lot of books in this series I've only read the first few but I have enjoyed them they're kind of like a light-hearted comedy it follows the same characters throughout the whole series so I guess it's more urban fantasy in that respect uh, but yeah that's really good if you want something quite funny and light-hearted then definitely pick that up and then the last book um, it's kind of more of a thriller but it is set in the future so it's, it's set in completely different times it's not quite dystopian um, but we it is a little bit but that is because it's a thriller and we're seeing it through the eyes of um, Eve who is a homicide detective and the series is by JD Robb and it's her in death series so it's basically a thriller series but set in the future um, it's really great, I really love it. Um, again, I there are a lot of books in the series, as in a lot. I think it might be pushing 40, but I might be exaggerating. Um, but either way, I haven't even read a quarter of them yet, but I definitely want to. Um, she has some great storylines and I really like her main characters in it. So those are my kind of more serious or more mainstream, I suppose, um, sci-fi books. I did have a few more, but I thought I'd just pick the highlights of those. Um, so now I'm going to move on to cyborgs and sci-fi romances, which are basically the main character in one way or another is a cyborg. So these are in, none of these are in any particular order, but I've got three of them. So Cynthia Sachs, her cyborg sizzle series. I really like it. Um, I think I discovered it last year um, and I read through all of them. They are really good. Um, so cyborgs have been enslaved, or well, created by humans and then enslaved and they view them as nothing more than objects and then the cyborgs rebel. And then it's about them rebelling and finding, finding women. Um, and it's kind of like a fated to be mated kind of storyline almost. They have one woman who they're comp genetically compatible with and then that's who their mate is. I really like them. Um, they're like modern modern day bodice rippers in some ways I suppose but they're great, they're romantic, they're sexy, definitely get on that. And the next one is Lauren Donna, um, her cyborg seduction series. These again uh, started off a while ago um, and I remember reading the first book going, wow, he's coming on a bit strong. They view, especially at the beginning of the series, um, the cyborgs view their women as slaves that they can kind of barter around with. Um, so it can be a bit touch and go with, <laughs> with the first few books. However, I do really like them. I do really like them. Obviously, um, the cyborg always does the right thing in the end and there's a very nice happily ever after and it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite go too far over the line where I have to put it down and feel angry about it. So yeah, those are, those are really good. Um, and then Eve Longlass, again, I've probably destroyed her name. I'm really sorry. I, I write these things down, not thinking about that I have to say them out loud. Um, and that's her More Than Machine series. Um, I've read quite a few of them, I, I quite like them, they're not my favourites but they are quite good and I know that she has written quite a few books um, in the sci-fi sci genre and these, this series isn't her only one so you might want to go and check out her books. So those are my cyborg recommendations and now I'm coming on to my favourite category and these are sci-fi romances where the hero or heroine, mainly the hero, is an alien. So alien heroes guys, that is what we want with these books, or at least it's what I want from these books. Um, so I have a big list here and I'm going to start with perhaps my favourite and that's Ruby Dixon and her Ice Planet Barbarian series which now has an uh, offspring called Ice Home. I love this series, the aliens are so sweet, they're, they're 
um, blue, they have tails and horns, um, and they kind of live quite primitively after a sp spaceship crashed, I think it's thousands of years ago, and then I guess eventually they just descended back into kind of surviving off the land. Um, and then a, a spaceship containing women who had been kidnapped from Earth to sell into slavery crash lands on their planet and they get taken in to their tribe and they all pair up and I really love it. It's kind of a simple straightforward romances um, and again a kind of fated to be mated kind of thing. They kind of resonate with, with each other and then that's the person that they can have children with. I really love it. Ruby Dixon is fantastic. She has some other series as well which I follow so I highly recommend that you give her books a go. Um, and then next is Evangeline Anderson. Um, she's written quite a, quite a few um, sci-fi romances but the series that I'm thinking of is her Brides of Kindred series. Um, there are quite a few now. I'm a little bit behind but I keep meaning to catch up. It's Once again I just get caught up in other things and I forget to follow all my series but yeah Rise of the Kindred, it, I, re I really enjoy it. Lots of aliens, different types of aliens as well. So um, you get um, twin kindred and that means that they always come in pairs. Um, and then you get like a vampire type kindred. I've forgotten their name, maybe blood kindred. And they, like I said, they're a bit like vampires. And then you get the beast kindred, kindred who are kind of like gruff and like warrior type um, kindred. So those are the three types and then some other characters that come into it as well um, as you get further into the series. So that's another recommendation. And then next is MK Idem. Um, she does the Tornian series which is one I kind of really like. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure. Um, again it's kind of the warriors need women because their women are dying out kind, kind of series so they kidnap women from earth to replenish their race. Um, it's a completely overdone storyline um, within sci-fi romance. However, it kind of works for me and I really, really enjoy the series, so give that a try. Um, so the next one is Amanda Milo and her Stolen by an Alien series. Once again, women getting sold as slaves after being kidnapped. Um, and then in this one, we get kind of different aliens falling in love with them. Um, I really love this series. It's one I only discovered really recently, I think towards the end of last year. Highly recommend you give it a go. I, I really liked it and I can't wait for more books to come out. Um, but we'll see. And then finally, Poppy Reese and The Women of Dornai, um, spelled D-O-R-N-Y-E. I really like this series. There's so many different types of aliens in this. They're all kind of weird and wonderful. So. I kind of like the aliens that are definitely like alien. They're not just humans with different coloured skin, which most of these other ones kind of are. Um, they are actually alien looking, but kind of human enough that you can kind of see them being a hero. So that's what I really like the Poppy like about the like about the Poppy Reese series is that although the aliens are weird, which I love, they're also like I love their personalities and they're just human enough to um, be great heroes um, and the women in it are really great as well. So those are my sci-fi recommendations. I hope you've enjoyed listening to me bang on about it. Um, no one else likes to listen to me talk about sci-fi romances because I seem to be the only one who really, really loves them. So if you have any recommendations for me, um, I'm always on the lookout for a new um, sci-fi romance to read or a new series. So please, please let me know. And let me know if you've read any, read, read any of the books that I've mentioned or you are now intrigued by what I've said and may go and pick one up. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to follow us on social media and check out of what we have got going on on the blog at undercoversbookblog.com. Thanks for listening and have a great week.